Although technically we're still in uh, spring, summer I think has definitely arrived in Finland. So uh, in, the, in the forest, you know, the birch leaves are in leaf and it's all looking fantastic. But I've, um, I've not come out to talk about that. I've come out to talk about uh, something I found out about AI, this chat GPT, um, AI software. Over my lifetime, I've seen a, a lot of scams and a lot of things especially related to technology, um, you know, being overstated, claims that are just uh, not backed up by reality. And I thought this was going to be the same with, with AI, you know, bearing in mind my experiences with, you know, chatbots when you're on, uh, I don't know, um, a bank's website or some sort of help facility there. Absolutely useless. So I was talking to my son about this and... Um, I'm stumbling a bit here because there's lots of rocks on the ground. Um, and he said, no, 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 this, this actually will change things. But, you know, me being me, I was always, uh, I was still quite sceptical um, of um, AI and uh, its ability to, to write coherently. So anyway, about two weeks ago, I'm on this web forum that I sometimes post on. And... I think there was some sort of discussion about whether these people were sort of left wing or, or right wing. I'm not normally into that dichotomy, but you know, there was people on there who were in favour of universal basic income, who tried to make out that they were libertarians, which, you know, in my opinion is pretty funny really, you know, somebody who wants the mummy government to look after them with, uh, with UBI how they can then claim to be an advocate of free market economics, private property rights and freedom and liberty is, is, is beyond the joke. So the other thing is that uh, most of these people on this forum, they're sort of ignorant of uh, economics. And the only economics that they know is, is a bit of uh, half-baked Keynesianism. So they don't know anything about the Austrian school. So I, I kind of made this point to them that you, you associate... Um, Keynesianism with, with economics, they're one and the same, um, according to you guys. And I said to them that um, there were major differences between the Austrian school of uh, macroeconomics and the Keynesian school. So, without me asking, one of these guys pumped in a question to chat GBT, um, something to the effect of, can you explain the difference between... Austrian economics and Keynesianism and to my great surprise this AI software posted back something that was half decent I expected it to just not work and to, to be rubbish with a little um, bit of the forest there so um, yeah I was really quite surprised because as I say I expected this thing to be to be rubbish and um, it then kind of raised further questions with me is that, um, you know, I would rate this, I was, it probably ch churned out about a thousand words and um, it was pretty good. The only thing that I would say was that maybe there was a bit too much assumed knowledge. So it came across as though, you know, if I was in, in, to imagine a student that had written this essay, it probably would have come from somebody who was uh, doing a bit of plagiarism and they were writing stuff that they didn't really understand. It was good stuff, but you could tell they didn't really properly understand it. There was, um, there was too much assumed knowledge on the part of the writer vis-a-vis uh, -vis the, the uh, intended reader. So I, I started talking to, to my son about this because he's a you know, full-time uh, student. You know, he's pretty academically gifted. So I was asking him, do you think this chat GPT is, uh, will it will it be uh, used by students to um, do their homework for them, you know? And uh, he said, never mind, will be. It probably already is uh, going on. Students are probably already using this chat GPT to, to write uh, A-level um standard work or uh, you know uh, GCSE nearly showed my age there saying O level 
<laughs> sorry about that and uh, you know who knows maybe undergraduate level work so you know at this point the, this forum it stopped being of use to me because these people they just couldn't really see through what the implications of this uh, chat gpt could be for um, schools colleges and universities uh, so what i'm going to do now is is um, go through those implications and then we'll talk afterwards about um, what the future might be for schools right the, the first one is um, implications for homework so for those that, that don't know um, you know i used to teach a levels economics and uh, business and um, in both subjects there are essays to write and students um, it takes time for them to develop um, effective writing skills so um, they can't revise how to write a good essay you need to it's like um, you know how, how do you get to be good with a seven iron you know off, off the tee or something you've got to practice something so it's the same with essay writing so for me as a teacher um, I probably was marking for at least a day a week um, so that was normally at the weekend because uh, you know you'd have to set your students uh, essays and other extended writing exercises for homework if they were to have a fighting chance of developing these skills so it was a real pain in the backside for me as a teacher to spend my life marking this stuff um, Towards the end, um, students stopped um, copying, um, you know, especially when it came to those, um, when the exams were cancelled and it was all done through sort of continual assessment because they, uh, they knew that they were in a direct competition uh, with their classmates. So with this um, chat GBT, um, there's going to be massive opportunities for plagiarism and uh, students are going to go for it. So that's the first implication is that I think homework, um, as it was, is going to be finished off by chat GPT. So um, I'm, I dare say there'll be people here who will say, well, they'll, they'll come up with two objections to that. The first one is, oh, well, yeah, you know, the AI itself can check on, on the, the authorship. So that should... Um, you know, anything that's been copied off uh, ChatGPT, either ChatGPT itself or maybe some other type of software, will detect the plagiarism and the essay will be rejected. But the, the problem with that is what students will do is they'll just change, they'll get a thesaurus and they'll just uh, change one word in a sentence or change the punctuation slightly or maybe cut out a sentence or two and replace it with one of their own. And um, bingo, you've, you've solved the problem. The AI won't be able to detect the plagiarism. So that's, that's the first problem. Uh, second issue is uh, some people say, well, couldn't you just get over it by using um, timed exercises? You know, um, you can't trust the students to do the work at, at home anymore. So um, get them to do it at school under time conditions. Problem solved. Again, um, it's not going to work for the simple reason that these days many, many students are already using um, their computers, uh, laptops usually, um, to um, do their writing on, even in timed assessments. This is, um, you know, basically, again, it's similar to the dyslexia type of situation in that it's normally the sharp elder, elbowed uh, middle class parents who jump up and down and say, well, my kid has dyspraxia or something and they need a laptop to go with their 25 percent extra time for dyslexia and um, they, they look to like scam any any anything going um they look as an advantage for their little darling uh, they'll look to do it and the same will be true here so timed work wouldn't work because um they would just use chat gpt even in the classroom um so that that's just not going to work the second thing too is that it takes quite a lot of time to get through the syllabus um, so you don't actually have time um, in the class to do all of the work that's needed in time conditions for the students to develop their writing skills. I think we're basically going to see um, the end of, of the essay 
um, the, and the need for teachers to set mountains and mountains of homework for students to develop these essay writing skills because with chat GPT you, you don't actually well first of all um, employers won't need uh, people who can write when chat GPT can just lump together something that uh, you know is, is a good sort of seven out of ten and then the other thing is that um, I don't know like for most of my teaching career like 30 odd years if not all of it um, it's very it's been a situation where it's the assessment method that's been driving the education so what teachers have done in the classroom has been pretty much based on how the students are going to do in their exams because that's the only thing that matters that's how teachers are judged and you know these days in a private school for example if you don't deliver those exam results you'll get fired pdq so that then places understandable pressure on teachers to do everything that they can to uh, focus their teaching on getting good exam results, which isn't the same as educating somebody. You know, in fact, I think I've mentioned this before. Um, I, over the last three years, we've all seen how important critical thinking is. But a student who thinks critically isn't always somebody who does well in exams because the exams are about learning the exam the chief examiner's line on things their opinion and then um learning that opinion and then regurgitating that as ob as an objective fact in answer to the questions that the said examiner has asked and there's loads of question spotting that goes on um, it's very much painting by numbers so what's interesting is with with chat gbt it's going to be very difficult for teach for that system to continue. I say a lot of students uh, use word processors. You, they use their computer already, uh, even in exams. So the potential for, for cheating to undermine the, the whole exam uh, system, the assessment system, um, is, is very, very great. I don't think it will um, remain credible. In fact, you could say that it's, it's already uh, lacking credibility. Um, why do I say that? Well, just look at what a lot of employers um, are already doing now. You know, um, they have their own tests uh, when they're re recruiting um, young people for jobs. Why? Well, they can't trust A-level and, and GCSE results anymore. Why? Well, um, they don't know whether an exam certificate was gained um, with 25% extra time for dyslexia or something or, or not They're, so there's a, there's a massive information gap what an economist would call um, an asymmetric information situation where the employer is is not privy to information that they really need to to uh, make a maximizing decision you know you should really know whether that a grade or a star was gained with the benefit of extra time uh, or not and it's you know it's quite a significant advantage 25 percent extra time in a three-hour exam especially if it's an essay-based subject but employers don't know so what they're doing what employers are doing to overcome that situation is that they're not really looking too much at a levels anymore and instead they're running their own in-house assessments uh, where you know the same questions are sat by the same candidates in the same amount of time so it kind of sh the whole education um, process has been undermined by, by people cheating. And ChatGBT will offer new cheating opportunities and it will sink what is left of the current system. So I'm out of the forest now. So let's talk now about what the future might be for education because um, a, a new system will be needed. We won't need all of these people that have been trained in the art of uh, essay writing because... Um, chat gbt will, will do it all already it's probably already uh, writing a lot of uh, um, advertisements and pr buff you know printed adverts um now i after after reading this um chat gbt uh, produced explanation of the difference between austrian economics and keynesianism I can really understand now how um, you know people like Elon Musk have been saying for a while that um, Twitter and a lot of the Twitter posts are actually written by by bots by by AI programs. 
So look, you know, what's the future for education? Will we, is there a need to have people um, on two or three year courses where they just go away, rote learn loads of stuff, and then, um, you know, in exams, um, they then have to puke it out again um, fast, uh, as fast as possible and as accurately as possible. Um, I don't think so. I think that that system is going to die. So that's going to be quite interesting, you know, for people that maybe did, I uh, know, history degrees or, uh, you know, geography degrees or English degrees, all of that. What, what's the use of it? You know, you've took on a lot of debt. Um, is, it, is it really going to uh, pull up the trees in a job? Um, could we de uh, design new academic courses that um, favour people who are able to think critically? Um, two things, feelings about that. First of all, that is the system's worst nightmare, so uh, that ain't happening. And then also, I don't think it's possible um, to actually design exams and, and mark schemes that are actually capable of rewarding students who can think and write critically. You know, you've, all, you've also got the problem that most people have been in, inducted like drones into this uh, learn and regurge. So you're going <clears> to, <throat> to have an exam like that, you need to have it marked by somebody who's capable of uh, independent critical thinking. And, you know, the last three years have shown that there's not very many of those people around. Yeah, so it's, it's interesting. There's, there's massive opportunities then for, for us. Uh, to design a new education system and I think that's already starting to happen now with people who have um, woken up and smelt the coffee and they've pulled their kids out of mainstream school because they know it's just um, <clears throat> a facility for to my hand around uh, state um, propaganda you know so people have like already sussed that out you know I think um, you know, in Britain particularly, you've got the class system, but we're really short, in Britain, we're really, really short of people who can, you know, good plumbers, carpenters, electricians, people who actually know what they're doing. So there'd obviously be a gap in the market for, you know, a type of vocational education um, that, that actually worked. The thing underneath the green cover, that's a massive boat in somebody's back garden. Oh, there's two actually, they've got two big boats, so I don't know what they're up to. But anyway, this just shows you actually the sort of typical living standard um, in Finland is just astronomically high. Um, and this is in Pori, which is not, it's not the richest part of Finland by any means. The, the final thing to say really about this chat GBT and AI and what I've learnt about it is um, it's made me think already that um, how much of what you read on Twitter is, is, isn't a real per person. You know, even this web forum, I've always had a few doubts about it, that it could be, you know, some sort of um, security forces uh, fly trap, you know, MI5 fly trap, uh, a place for, for people to come and uh, discredit, discredit themselves and what, what they say when they think that they're posting on a stealth forum or whatever behind a VPN but um, yeah uh, I suppose we are living in a world where it's actually quite difficult to you know with these deep fakes as well to gauge the difference between something that's authentic and something that's not you know for me I think a lot of it comes down to instinct and gut feel so you know for me personally I really trust uh, Lee Veritas Vincent and uh, Marty Bucco and Tim from Fairplay now. You know, these people have some relatively small channels. They don't have big production budgets. And, um, you know, it, they seem to speak from the heart. Um, and they, they, they seem like completely legit to me. And I think it's actually quite hard, especially on YouTube, to get a big audience. So um, the, the system starts shadow, shadow banning you. So, you know, for me, um, <clears throat> my subscriber content has not, you know, since I made a particular video criticizing um, 
<laughs> Hugo talks uh, and, and raise the issue of anti-Semitism because I think that's definitely used by the powers that shouldn't be to uh, trap people, you know? Um, and, and also, I'm a fair-minded person, so, you know, the idea that, uh, that Jews are responsible for all the world's problems <laughs> is just laughable, really. You know, not when you, uh, you understand, you know, the, the role played by the Secret Handshake Club and um, basically people who, who are extremely religious, but they're Satanists rather than uh, people that uh, read the Old Testament. So yeah, that's all I want to say today. So, oh, the only final thing is, um, I did a YouTube short earlier today, which I, I quite like actually, but uh, the thing with you, my YouTube shorts, I get hardly any traction at all. So um, have a look at that as well. Tell me what you think of it in the, in the comments. So yeah, so um, God bless from, from Finland.